Okay, so now that I have the main shapes and forms down of this rock, uh, I can start getting into detailing. So uh, I've got my primary and secondary shapes. So I'm more or less happy with this. Um, so for detailing, in terms of detailing, really there are just two kinds of things I want to do. I want to do smaller cracks and uh, then I want to do a little bit of edge damage and chipping and that's that sort of thing. So uh, you could go one step further with detailing and do like surface level detailing where you're adding a lot of surface noise and stuff like that. But I tend to prefer to do that during the texturing phase. So we're gonna we're not going to do actual high frequency uh, surface detail on this. So to create alphas in Blender, uh, which is how we're going to do this, this detailing, we're going to use an add-on called Grab Dock. Now this add-on is available for free on Gumroad. You just need to go to this address, gumroad.com slash raised. And um, this guy, Ethan Simon, he's the guy who made the add-on. Uh, super helpful, nice guy. Um, and this is completely available for free. So you just got to download this. And this add-on called Grab Dock basically lets you lift um, height maps and other kinds of maps from uh, existing geometry within your 3D view. And this is originally meant for uh, creating real-time uh, trims. So uh, there's a great uh, overview video here, which you can check out. Um, it's really nice to show what the add-on is really capable of. For me, I'm just going to use this to create some nice alphas that I can use for detailing. So to install the add-on, you just need to uh, go ahead and download it. So uh, just go here, check out, enter your email address, and you'll be uh, taken to a page where you can download the add-on. I've already done that. So uh, to install the add-on, you just need to be in Blender um, and go to Edit, Preferences, and just uh, click he uh, here under Add-ons, click Install, and then just navigate to saved zip file on your hard drive, and then just click Install Add-on. And then here, um, under this little uh, search bar, just search for it, grab doc. Here it is, just enable it, and go ahead and save preferences. And then here in your um, right-hand side panel, you should see a new little tab that says Grab Doc. So to get started with Grab Doc, um, obviously you can just, uh, well, let's just delete all of this. Um, and then here under the uh, sidebar under Grab Doc, click Set Up Scene. And it'll create this uh, little scene here, and it'll create a little hierarchy here in the scene collection here. And so basically what this does is this camera, uh, anything that's um, underneath it here will end up being part of the final uh, alpha stem that I'll be creating. So, but for alpha stems, you only need height and this add-on can do normals, curvature, ambient occlusion, all kinds of stuff. But I'm just going to disable everything that I don't need and just do height. And so if I click on this, it'll sort of give me a real-time preview of the height. And obviously there's nothing here, so there's no information here. Um, so let's uh, fix that and let's just uh, start sculpting a typical crack alpha and then just save it out as a height map. So I'll just press escape to leave this view um, and I'll just duplicate this plane and move it up, up a little bit like so. Um, so I'm just going to do like a regular crack. So uh, I'm going to create some geometry here so I can sculpt on it. So in edit mode on the plane, right click subdivide and I'll just uh, subdivide a few times about 25 cuts and if I go in wireframe mode which is under my quick favorites uh, normally it's up here but I just put it in my quick favorites uh, that does seem pretty dense so uh, we'll go with this for now so now that I have a nice dense geometry I'll get into sculpt mode here just uh, disable wireframe and I'll use the draw sharp brush to just uh, also disable uh, symmetry. And I'll just uh, use, it, uh, use it to start um, sculpting a typical crack here. So, well, we want something for the rock. I'm doing something fairly straight with maybe a couple of smaller um, cracks toward running towards the this side. And you'll notice this doesn't look very realistic um, right now, but I'll 
we'll fix that uh, with using the scrape brush and using the uh, same technique I used earlier on the rock itself um, under advanced just enable original normal and then also uh, bring down the normal radius a little bit and increase the hardness and we'll see see what this looks like so holding down control I get to just push the sides inwards a little bit and this creates a much nicer much more realistic edge for this crack and so if you do it right if you get just the right amount of sharpness in here it'll end up looking pretty convincing hopefully because you can also now just make sure the the edge of the crack is sort of um, n not smooth, like kind of jagged. Gives a little bit of realism to it as well. So just holding down control and pushing in this edge a little bit. And remember, original plane has to be enabled for this to work right. Alright, so um, I've pressed O on the keyboard on the numpad to just get into camera mode. Um, and here under the height settings, I'm just going to set uh, the, the zero 01 range to auto. And then I'll just click height to, um, to get a preview of what it's going to look like. So it's giving me a really nice looking alpha straight right off the bat um, with a pure white background and in the alpha in there. And so to export this, I'm just going to um, set a path and I'll just uh, ac click accept here and I'll give it a name. So I'll just call it um, rock crack alpha one. Um, the resolution 2048 is pretty good. Uh, the bit depth, you want to make sure it's 16 bit. I believe that's a lot better for height maps. I think there's nothing much else you need to do, so just click export height and it'll give you a little message down here, export completed, and that should be saved to your drive. So I'm gonna make a few more alphas like this um, just to so I have a bit of variety to work with once I get to sculpting on my rock. Okay, so now that I have a few uh, crack alphas. Um, I'm not sure these are enough, but I can always come back and make some more. Uh, I'm going to get back into the rock file and uh, start sculpting uh, sculpting these onto the rock itself. Um, just before I do that, I need to mention uh, I'm, I'm going to be using one other alpha that, um, and it's just a just a, a square like this. The reason I'm using this is uh, this alpha is going to be used for mainly for chipping damage, like the edge damage and stuff like that. And this is really nice, uh, as you'll see, um, to create sort of a broken effect. So yeah, I'm going to be using this alpha and then the cracks, and those should be enough to give me some good smaller details that uh, I can eventually finish up the entire thing. 